What's up YouTube, Marvin Four here with Great American Survival. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to ditch Starbucks and make yourself the best cup of coffee you've ever had on the trail using the AeroPress Go. Stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. So as I said, today I'm going to be making a cup of coffee using the AeroPress Go and just verifying and letting everyone know that you don't pay for Starbucks coffee when you can make coffee that's just as good at home for pennies. This is exceptional. Now the AeroPress Go is the newer version of the AeroPress. Now the AeroPress, if you've never seen one, is exceptional. I have made with the original AeroPress, I have had mine since, wow, um, probably early 2000, probably in the early 2000s, um, maybe in the 90s, I don't know, I have to look, I have to look that up and see how long I've had mine, I've had mine for a long time. I have made thousands of cups of coffee with this, with the AeroPress, uh, the original AeroPress. Now with the Go, I like the Go, I think it's exceptional, I think it easily shows that quest people ask the question, is it worth it if you have an AeroPress to buy an AeroPress Go? There's certain aspects that are gonna be yes and no. If you are planning on taking a trip, on a backpacking trip, the fact that this is all one kit, including a cup, when the original AeroPress was more than this and it didn't have a cup. It weighed more than this, and it, but it was a smaller press, a bigger press, it pressed more. But if you are somebody that when you go on a backpacking trip, you will be backpacking carrying two people and um, wanting to make two cups of coffee at a time, then you're gonna wanna go with the original AeroPress and not the Go. The Go is a lot smaller. The Go comes with this wonderful little press guard lid that holds everything together. You come with a little carrier for your paper filters which I don't usually use my paper filters on a trip. On a backpacking trip, I use the one that's in mine right now, which is a stainless steel uh, filter, just because I don't have to carry paper filters. Now, a paper filter is exceptional. You can get 10, 15, probably more uses out of one paper filter. Uh, you can sit there and rinse it off and reuse it and not even dry it off. Just put the cap back on it, you know, after you rinse off the coffee and dump out your, you know, push out your pod. And it's just wonderful. So with the new AeroPress Go, you get a smaller AeroPress, which is just like this, which is exceptional. You get a smaller scoop in, in uh, length not in dimensions. It still holds 14 grams of coffee, which is exceptional. It comes with a modified smaller stir paddle. And a lot of people, when you are doing the original style of AeroPress, not the inverted method the way I do it, you would want to, you would have a paper filter. And if you had the paper filter, the reason why this is a particular length is so it doesn't tear the filter. It doesn't hit the bottom. So, but being I'm using a stainless steel filter, it's not an issue. So I keep mine just like this, just go right up to about the three mark right there on the press, take my filter back off like so. I have my hot water in my Yeti Rambler, which is what I'm gonna be using. Today I am using Kicking Horse Coffee Grizzly Claw whole bean. I've already ground it just because, one, I can't stand that noise. I keep it in a ball jar. And we're going to use one full scoop, which is right around 14 grams. And this is a coarse grind. So, the way I like it. I like my coffee with coarse grind and the AeroPress even in the go. Now, next, you are going to take the lid off of my Rambler. And then I'm going to pour in a certain amount of water, not all of it, not all the water I'm going to be using, just some of it. Right up to about the one mark. And then I'm gonna take my stir 
and just stir for about 10 seconds personally. Get all those coffee grounds off. Fill it the rest of the way up with water. Just so everything's mixed and saturated, you wanna get it right up to the lip. And it's, it's, guys, if you've never used an AeroPress, you don't know what you're missing. Now, the only time when I use a paper filter, now the only time I will wet my paper filter and rinse it is when I'm doing it like this, just so it sticks to the lid and I don't have it flopping around and falling down in there. That's all there is to making this cup of coffee. I'm gonna move the coffee out of the way. I do have some creamer over here, which is a, um, a Bailey's Irish cream. I will not be using sugar, just a little bit of that today. And this is exceptional. You're gonna wait a minute and then we are going to press. You're going to take it. Now, unlike the original AeroPress, this comes with a wonderful cup, which is great because this does not fit in a lot of coffee cups. A lot of the coffee cups that the AeroPress originally fit in, this one's not gonna fit in. So then you're just gonna press. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. You're just gonna push your hand down, let it enjoy it, and just press through. Now, the AeroPress makes an exceptional cup of coffee. I have not paid for a cup of coffee from Starbucks since I moved here from Washington in the 90s. I will not because this makes just as good, if not better, as long as you're using good coffee, it's going to make an exceptional cup of coffee. No questions. I mean, you can see that. I wish you could smell it. Grizzly Claw from Kicking Horse is an exceptional coffee. It's a very dark roast. There you go. Kicking Horse, whole bean. Very nice stuff. I keep mine after I grind it. And after I grind it, I keep mine in a mason jar just so it's fresh. And then everything, like I said, goes right back together. That's the amazing part about this press. Now, if you've never used an AeroPress, that's all there is to it. I've already pressed my coffee. Now all I'm gonna do is take this off. Take that, that's it. A little bit of sediment is all you're looking at. We're gonna wipe that off. And then all you're gonna do, if you've never used one, is you're just gonna pop out this puck. That's it. Now you're ready. If you wanted to make another cup of coffee, I'm sorry, I guess you didn't see that on the camera. There it is. That's all you're gonna have. That's the coffee grounds and then that you see I mean ready to go for the next round then you could if you wanted to you could just pull this back to the three make yourself another cup of coffee that fast then all you're gonna do is I take my stuff put it back in here put that in there put my filter back on like that put it all back together put this in here and then when I'm done with my cup I will put it all back in the same thing it's exceptional I love this thing I cannot believe people pay four dollars for a cup of coffee that is in no way shape or form better than what I'm about to drink oh god that's good and I the best part about it is you can carry this with you and get to some of the most exceptional breathtaking places in this country or in the world and make this cup of coffee. Carrying a thermos like this with some hot water in it, my hot water is more than enough, more than hot enough to brew a cup of coffee. And this is from earlier this morning. So we are looking at four hours later and I just made a cup of coffee in less than two minutes from beginning to end. Wow, just awesome guys. I hope you guys will go check out AeroPress. If you'd like to see a longer, more in-depth review of the AeroPress Go, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to share it with you. I have been using my AeroPress for a long time and have made thousands of cups of coffee, and it is so worth it. Especially in times like this right now as we're dealing with the COVID-19 outbreak here in the United States and worldwide. Stop paying for coffee and going somewhere like Starbucks and putting yourself in harm's way every day when you don't have to. Make this at home, save yourself some money, and just have just as great of a cup of coffee as you'll ever have from Starbucks. 
Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, comment down below and let me know. Give it the old thumbs up. I would love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. We couldn't do this without you. We hope you have a great week. We are praying for each and every one of you as we deal for your friends, your family, and all of you that are out of work. We pray for you and hope you all are doing well. We pray for your safety. And God bless each and every one of you. We hope you have a great week. Remember to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.